how are you? I hope you're well and I hope you had a good week. So this is it. Today we are leaving our mooring near Hawkesbury Junction, jun Junction and we are going to the Coventry Basin. And I'm really excited because last year Coventry was the city of culture. So there must be loads going on there and I will show you what we can find in Coventry. So come on, let's go. So the journey is about five miles, which means it's just going to take us roughly two hours and a bit. But we are facing the wrong way, so we have got to go to the winding hole, turn around, and then we'll be in the right direction. Approaching the winding hole. And off into the sun we go. This magnificent bridge is called Wings Over Water and it was designed by Valente Paitel in 2000 and it was actually the former Mineral Railway Bridge but look at it, it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. A lot of the bridges like this one here on the Coventry Canal have bridge markers on top of them marking exactly where you are on the canal. So the Coventry Canal was designed to connect the city to the Trent and Mersey at Fradley Junction and it took 20 years to construct. That's a cool bench. And then all of a sudden it really started to feel like we were in the middle of a city. Coventry supporters, this I am now going past the east stand. Far away now from the basin, bridge six A. So we've just clunked over something, and one of the boaters before we came down here said, "Watch out for supermarket trolleys." 
apparently there's a lot of supermarket trolleys down here. So when we just knocked over a trolley there, inside the boat, one of my jars has fallen off the shelf and smashed. So hopefully we're going to be here at the Coventry Basin in 15 minutes. And well, the first thing I've got to do now when we moor up is I've got to clean up that broken glass. We do lose a lot of glass, I will say. I think I just got to replace everything with tin. And as the sun was beginning to fade, we were treated to a light sensation in Heath Crescent Bridge or Tunnel or Bridge Tunnel. Brink Events teamed up with Canal River Trust and using the talent of the local artists, they made this section of the canal absolutely beautiful to look at. And here we are arriving at Coventry Basin. In the basin there's enough room for about eight boats and it does recommend pre-booking but because it was winter time we didn't bother with that. So let's hopefully we'll be able to find somewhere. There are all the facilities that you need for your boat. Uh, there's a little garden, there's a cafe and it's just a fantastic spot to have in the middle of the city. So I'm still in Coventry. I have stayed a whole day longer and I think I'm going to stay two days longer than I was going to in the first place. And that is because I really like it here and I found a really special place and it was raining all day yesterday. Today the sun is shining so I am going to take you to that special spot in Coventry. When Sir Alfred Herbert's wife died in the 1930s, he set about designing a garden in her memory so that the people of Coventry would have a haven of peace and floral beauty to enjoy. And of course, he named it Lady Herbert's Garden.
floating coconuts. On the way back I bumped into the very vain swan that you can see in Coventry Basin which liked to admire himself in the reflection in the shop window every day and despite the fact that his female friend was over the other side. Coventry City is ever so pretty and certainly worth a long stop, where Screwmoss stands tall on the old city wall, and of course it has all kinds of shop, from its history to art, so where do you start? In Phil Larkin's pub for a sherbet. Then for tranquillity there's just one place to be, the garden of late Lady Herbert. Then it's back to the cut, past the odd coconut, to the swan full of his veiny tricks. So if you thought this was great, then don't hesitate. Hit the thumbs up on Vlog 86. Hit the thumbs up on Vlog 86.